Okay, good morning year four. Welcome to Thursday's English lesson. Your grammar this morning is to change the structure of this sentence so that it starts with the underlined conjunction. So your sentence is, it was still raining, although the sun was shining. So although is a subordinate conjunction, how would you change the structure of that sentence so it starts with although? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, it should look something like this. Although the sun was shining, comma, it was still raining. So the comma separates our two clauses. I have just popped although the sun was shining, which is what we had here, our subordinate clause at the front of the sentence and put our main clause at the end. Okay. Right, today we are going to start writing your explanation text on the water cycle. Remember it is for kids, so it does need to be in terms that you as children would understand. It's going to inform them about the water cycle is. We've done a lot of work this week on causal conjunctions. And we've done a lot of work on fronted adverbials, okay? So they are the two grammar focuses that we are going to be looking for in your text. Okay, Year 4, the first thing I want you to do is watch a video on the water cycle. Now, I have the link here, but if you go onto your daily plan for today, you'll be able to copy and paste the link from the English section into your internet browser, and that should take you straight there. So, have a watch. Hopefully that was handy. There's some really ex um, interesting extra information in there that you might want to hold on to if you really want to make a really good explanation text. So that would be a really good one to watch later. So to help you today, you've got your waggle, what a good one looks like, um, as a good example for you to magpie ideas and copy the structure. You've also got your success criteria here. So we need to be using technical vocabulary. So they are the words like evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection that you're going to use in your headings anyway. You're also going to need to use causal conjunctions. So because, so, as a result, this causes. Okay, you could always look back at the work you did a few days ago and see if you can use any of those sentences. You've also got to use your fronted adverbials. Next, after, after a while, when, first. And again, you can look back at yesterday's work and look at the range of adverbials that you used. So... As always, there are three levels of challenge, but you are going to choose your challenge because it's going to depend what your writing outcome is like. So the introduction is the first thing you're going to write today. Today I'd like you to write your introduction, your evaporation paragraph and your condensation paragraph. Now they're not very big. Uh, your introduction does not have to be as long as this. So if you're thinking bronze level, okay, you are going to be thinking about just stating what is going to be in the text. So I might just think, um, re -ha read this information text to find out all about the wonderful water cycle. Okay, it very simply sets out what you're going to find in this um, information text. Okay, that is, oh, and you also need to proofread the spelling, in for patient. Lots of you shouting at the screen at me then, I'm sure. So that is very simply one sentence that is an introduction. However, I would like a little bit more. We have some lovely features in this introduction. We've got some humour, okay? Uh, did you know that the water you've just swallowed is the same water that woolly mammoths, King Tutankhamun and, and the first humans drunk? Not only is that quite funny, but it's also using a rhetorical question. So could you think about using a rhetorical question in yours? So let's have a look. Um, did you know that the water you drunk at breakfast... Is the same water that oh, we could think of some other ones, couldn't we? I do like King Tutankhamun, and we did study him, so I'm going to steal him. Car Moon. I'm going to go for cavemen. Cavemen 
and Queen Victoria. We are drank. Okay. That is because the earth is constantly recycling water. Exclamation mark. Okay, so there you've added a bit of humour. You're drawing the reader in. If I was reading that, I think, yeah, actually, I would like to know a little bit more. If, however, you're thinking, no, I can do better than that, could you do this? So if I pop you this, bear with me, my keyboard skills are not that quick. And then could you extend it to using, um, well, we could use here a uh, subordinate conjunction, couldn't I? Um, when this happens, we call it the water cycle. Okay, so there, here, I've got, I've got a complex sentence in there already. Um, I might also add a bracket in there. The process of evaporation, condensation, precip precipitation, and collection as my extra information. Okay, so do you see how you can build it up in levels? And this last sentence is really nice as well. So, are you, are you budding young geographers ready to learn splashing new facts? Another rhetorical question. Then join us to take a look at the different stages of the water cycle, okay? So that's your introduction. So you can either pause the video now, write your introduction, and then have a look at me modelling the next paragraph, or you can watch me model the next paragraph um, and then write it all at once. It's completely up to you and how you want to structure your learning this morning. I'm going to go on to evaporation. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at bronze first. So evaporation, do you remember that's when the sun heats up the surface of the earth, causing the water in our rivers and lakes to rise, turning into water vapour, and that's called evaporation. So I might start with first because that is a fronted adverbial that we used in bronze challenge yesterday. First comma. Um, the sun heats the water. So that would be um, a causal conjunction. This happens so something else happens. First the sun heats the water so it turns into water vapour full stop. This is called evaporation okay that's bronze challenge you've got a sentence there covers what evaporation is however most of you i would have thought can write a little bit more so i'm actually going to go for a slightly better i think adverb i'm going to start with when when the sun heats the water in our oceans lakes and rivers. Remember in year four we should be using commas in the list very confidently now. So when the sun heats the water in our oceans, lakes and rivers, it turns into water vapour, turns into water vapour. As a result, okay, so this is a causal conjunction, evaporation occurs okay if I'm going for gold we might have this but then we might also take some of that extra information that we had in that last video so um, what was it called when plants and trees lose water through the atmosphere through their leaves um, ah, transpiration oh and it's up there as well isn't it so I might also, also, I might use an addition conjunction, which is also a fronted adverbial. Brilliant. Also, um, plants can lose water through a process called transpiration. Transpiration. Brilliant. Okay. Are you getting the idea now? So again, you can pause this video, write your evaporation. Um, paragraph. You might want to add pictures as well. You might want to present it as a nice um, information text or you might just want to write the paragraphs. It's up to you. As long as you're getting this grammar in, your teacher will be happy. 
The third paragraph I want you to write today is condensation. And I'm not going to model the three levels because I think you're getting the idea now. Um, but you're building it up, remember, and you're using different levels of causal conjunctions and different adverbials. Don't forget to look back at all the work you've done this week um, for all those word banks and in that waggle to help you. Uh, tomorrow we are going to write the rest of our explanation text, so don't lose this. Uh, you're going to add it on and write the last three paragraphs. Um, but good luck year four and we can't wait to see them. Bye.